One of the biggest challenges of farmers in Uganda, especially women and youth, is access to finance, often due to lack of the necessary collateral. To solve this challenge, Haifa International has invested $4.5 million in a tractor booking platform for Africa, where smallholder farmers are said to benefit from a tractor financing model as they embrace mechanization of agriculture over the next 10 years. So, but the most important thing, I think, on this product uh, is how the payment is being done. It's about pay as you work. Okay, you don't need Corato. So it's a question of ensuring that you can be able to uh, book, do an initial booking or commitment to show that you're going to be able to till five, 500 hectares of land and that you can also provide an initial deposit of 6 million Uganda shillings. So the rest of the money then you pay it as you work. Because it's pay as you go. So unlike traditional banking where I'll tell you, you take this tractor, it's forty thousand dollars every month. You pay me fifty thousand. I don't care where, whether you get where you get it from. I don't care. I just need the money. So for us, the difference is pay as you go. So as you work, you plow ten acres, you pay for ten acres. You plow fifty acres, you pay for fifty acres. Uganda imports thirty-five million dollar worth of food annually to meet its production deficit. For this, government says they are in the process of commercializing the agriculture sector through mechanization and modernizing at farm level. These smallholder farmers may not uh, concentrate enough on food crops. So we want to mobilize uh, the large-scale farmers to grow food for this country and we want to establish food reserves where government will buy the food produced by these large-scale farmers and put it in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in the silos across the country so that if there is a scarcity, then we can release that food to the general circulation. This is a private sector leaning attempt at agriculture mechanization in a situation where most of the efforts have until now been largely championed by government. Betty Ndagire, NTV Business.